The Island of the Sun, there was once a farmer who had two sons. The older son was selfish and greedy, while the younger son was kind and generous. When the farmer died, the older brother took all of his land for himself, leaving the younger brother with nothing except a basket and a sharp knife with which he could cut firewood. He would go into the forest and chop wood and sell it in exchange for a little rice in the marketplace. He was poor. He had nothing. One day, the young brother climbed through the forest to the top of the mountain, and there he sat upon a rock gazing out towards the west where the sun was setting. And as he sat there all alone, he felt a rush of air from above, and he looked, and there was a bright bird flying down towards him. A huge wingspan. He felt the beating of air, the rush of air. And then it landed next to him. Why do you sit here all alone? I am poor. I have nothing. Is this true or is this false? It is true. I am poor. I have nothing. Then climb on my back, said the mighty bird, and I will carry you to the island of the sun. There you may take one piece of gold before I bring you back. He climbed on to the back of the bird, and the bird took off. Away from the mountain, the great bird flew. Over the forest, the great bird flew. Over the waters, the great bird flew. To the island of the sun, the great bird flew. And as the bird landed, the sun set behind the island, which glittered brightly. And the boy took one piece of gold. He put it in his basket and climbed on to the back of the great bird. Away from the island, the great bird flew. Over the waters, the great bird flew. Over the forest, the great bird flew. Back to the mountain, the great bird flew. The young brother took that piece of gold and went down out of the forest. And there he bought a small piece of land. And there he reared pigs, cows, and a few hens. He lived well. He worked hard, but one day his older brother came. Where did you find this wealth, this land? And the young brother told him, "I want this. Give me that old basket and your knife." And the older brother set off up through the forest. And when he came to that mountain, he sat upon a rock and waited. After a while, he felt a rush of air and a beating of wings was heard. And there, as he gazed towards the west. Towards the setting sun, a bird appeared from its bright rays, beating its wings, coming closer. It landed next to him. Why do you sit here all alone? I am poor. I have nothing. Is this true or is this false? It is true. I am poor. I have nothing. I want gold. Climb on my back, said the great bird. I will take you to the island of the sun. There you may take one piece of gold. Away from the mountain, the great bird flew. Over the forest, the great bird flew. Over the waters, the great bird flew. To the island of the sun, the great bird flew. And as it landed, the sun set behind the island. The older brother looked and saw sparkling gold everywhere. He picked up one piece and placed it in the basket. Just one more can't hurt. The basket seems empty. I may as well take another. A second piece he placed in the basket, then a third. He continued picking up the largest chunks of gold until the basket was completely full. Then he turned, and as he turned, he saw that the bird had flown away and the sun was rising. He stood there and was burned to a crisp. The young brother inherited his older brother's land. He tended the land well and with love, and what he produced he shared with others of the community. The two old women, Tettenbury, aha, Bokabury, hmm, Tettenbury, aha, Bokabury, hmm, Tettenbury, aha, Bokabury. Hmm. There were once two sisters, Tettenbury, clever sister. Aha. And Bokabury, foolish sister. Hmm. Tettenbury and Bokabury shared three things. They shared one blanket. They shared one cow. 
and they shared one mango tree, aha, sister. I will have the blanket during the night, and you will have the blanket during the day. Aha, hmm, very well, sister, Boca Buri only had the blanket during the day when the sun blazed down. But at night, when it was cold, she had to give the blanket to her clever sister, aha. I will have the back end of the cow, and you will have the front end of the cow. Aha, hmm, very well, sister, Boca Buri, foolish sister, had to feed the cow and water the cow, while clever sister came along and milked the cow and made yogurt and butter, Boca Buri was hungry, the mango tree. I will have the top half of the mango tree, and you will have the bottom half of the mango tree. Aha, hmm, very well, sister, Boca Buri had to water the mango tree and weed around its base. Teton Buri came and picked the delicious, ripe fruit and kept them all for herself. Boca Buri was cold at night and so hungry, she went into the village, and there she went to the hairdresser. While the hairdresser cut her hair, she listened to Boca Buri's troubles. Foolish woman. What you must do is this. When you go back to your sister, give her the blanket at night, but only after you have dipped it in the river. As for the cow, don't feed the cow, just shout at the cow. And as for the tree, chop it in half, very well. Bokaburi went back to the sister. She gave her the blanket, but only after she had dipped it in the river, Tetanburi took the blanket. Aha! Agag, it was so cold. She shivered all through the night with the wet blanket around her. The next day, she went to get milk from the cow. But Boca Buri had not fed the cow. Boca Buri had only shouted at the cow. And when she tried to milk the cow, the cow just kicked Teton Buri. Agag, not sharing now, Teton Buri went to pick mangoes from the tree. But when she got there, there stood Boca Buri with an axe in her hands about to chop the tree in half. What are you doing, sister? Oh, said Boca Buri, I am going to cut the tree in half. I am going to chop my half from your half. No, said the sister. What can I do to stop you, um? Go and talk to the hairdresser. Teton Buri went to the hairdresser. The hairdresser had no sympathy. I will not help you. But why don't you ask the rest of the community? The doors of the shop were opened and all of the people of the community squeezed inside. They listened to Teton Buri's woes, how she was cold at night with a wet blanket, how she only had the cow kick her and no milk to make yogurt or butter, how her sister was going to chop the tree in half. What you must do, they said, is share the work. Share the blanket. Sleep next to your sister. You will keep each other warm. Snug and warm, share the blanket, and share the feeding and the watering of the cow, and milk the cow together, and together churn the butter and make the yogurt, work together, and, said the people of the community, what you must do, Teton Buri, is to look after the tree. Tend the tree with your sister. Weed the tree and water the tree, and together you will share an abundance of fruit. Aha, and so it was that Teton Buri and Boca Buri shared the blanket and kept each other warm at night, shared the milk to make butter and yogurt, and shared those delicious mangoes. And so much did they have that they had plenty to share with the rest of the community, Teton Buri. Aha! And Boca Buri, the not-so-foolish sister. Hmm.